Hi all, this CSR demo includes dealing with sliders, opening links, lift to activate feature, and a quick look at some of the options available in the TTS settings. There are several ways to, in, to, to adjust slider values using CSR. One of them is to assign a gesture to increase slider value and another one to decrease it. After you focus the slider, just use the assigned gestures. Also, after focusing the slider, you can go to the main menu, then select either increase slider value option or decrease slider value one. Um, if you are using the alternative element navigation mode, um, you can use the default type to adjust the slider value. In the alternative element navigation mode, we move between navigation types, or which is called in Topac granularities, by swiping up then down, or down, then up. And to move in the specified navigation type, we swipe down for the next or to increase, up for the previous or to decrease. This is the case if we are using the, the invert swiping gestures option. If not, swiping right, swiping right is to increase or for the next, left for the previous. Discard and back. I should include the default as one of the navigation types. Those settings are available in operation settings, then navigation settings. Let's deal with a slider. Home screen. Home screen wipes list. Assistant. Speech central. Speech central. Application. Settings. One, two, three. Got for stand item two of three only on standard speed. Voice pitch. High speed 53. Standard speed 48 position. Okay, so. Standard reading speed, uh, I will go to the default navigation type by swiping up, then down. TTS rate, copying mode, heading, line, word, character, progress, text box, buttons, default. Swipe down. High, standard speed 53 position. Okay, it, it increased the slider, swipe up. Standard speed 48 progress. It decreased the slider. So swiping down increased the slider, swiping up decreased the slider. And as you can notice, it is moving by 5%. But in CSR, I can go to a specific slider value like 61, 78. Let's go to the main menu. Main menu, cancel, adjust slider's value. Adjust slider's value, double tap. Here I have values from zero to 100. 94. 95, 96, 31, 30, 20, 28, 27. Let's try 26. The 26. High standard speed 25 position. It took me to the value which is prior to the 26, which is 25. It happens sometimes. And sometimes it will take you to the exact value. I'm not sure if uh, this will be improved in the next versions. But anyway, anyway, the adjust sliders value is a useful addition to CSR. Now, uh, in TalkBack, we use volume keys to adjust sliders. And this is possible also with CSR. Let's go to the main menu. Main menu, main program settings. Program settings. G Show Plus. Download additional risk and notification reading settings. Reading settings. Operation settings. Operation settings. Navigation settings, edge gesture setting, shortcut key settings, shortcut key settings, shortcut key settings, short, use the volume keys checkbox, check controls whether the volume keys can be used as commentary screen readers, shortcut keys. Okay, here I can decide if CSR will use my volume keys or not. Um, this is not possible with TalkBack. Show the system volume panel while adjusting volume checkbox unchecked. Okay, if I'm adjusting the volume with CSR using the volume keys, this will let me decide if I want the system volume panel to appear on the screen or not. Use the volume keys to move the edit cursor checkbox checked. Okay, here I can uh, move the editing cursor while I'm editing text. Um, and at the same time, checking this option will let, me, it will let me adjust slider values using volume keys. So the same option is to uh, let me move the editing cursor using the volume keys and adjust slider values. Now let's
let's move to opening links. We have messages that contain links in the text, um, tweets containing links, YouTube video descriptions. In TalkBack, we use the TalkBack menu, then links, and in CSR, we have the option which is open a new URL. In CSR, I can find this option by going to the main menu, and also I can assign a gesture to open it directly. Home screen one of two, assistant, Twitter, tweet, image. This is a tweet. Android Auto will help you find out if you are using a faulty USB cable. Androidpolis.com slash Android Auto W. Okay, so I can go to the main menu now and uh, select open a new URL. Also, I can use the gesture if, I, uh, if I've already assigned a gesture and I did. Uh, I'm using the swipe down with three fingers. So I'll use the gesture. Open a new URL. Let's see. Open a new URL. Click androidpolis.com slash Android Auto W. Chrome. The open, uh, the link is opened. Android, if you regularly use Android Auto in your car, you must be no stranger to frequent connection issues. This problem use tweet. Now about the lift to activate feature, which is a feature not available in TalkBack. In this feature, I can activate items just by putting my finger on the item and lifting my finger. You know, in typing, you have the lift to type. And this is similar. This is the lift to activate, to activate items, buttons, links, whatever. Uh, some people may see this as a quicker way to, to activate items. So let's see. Main menu, main menu, program settings, shortcut key settings, operation settings. Operation settings again. Edge gesture settings. I should use the game at edge gesture settings. Shortcut keys, hotkey schemes, clicking action settings. Clicking action settings. Clicking action settings. Clicking a single tap activates the focus item checkbox. Unchecked controls whether clicking only once on the element activates it. Okay, so this is similar to single tap activation in TalkBack. Lift your finger to activate the item under a checkbox. Unchecked controls whether lifting the finger off the screen activates the element under the finger. If the finger is kept on the screen for a certain time, the element is not activated. Checked. So after checking this option, just by touching the item and then lifting my finger, the item will be activated. If I keep my finger on the item for uh, a longer time, this will ignore the activation of the item when I lift my finger. I can swipe also normally and use the double tapping method. Use the raw click instead of accessibility click checkbox unchecked. Perform the long click action when finger stays on an element for a long time. Checkbox unchecked controls whether the long click action is simulated when your finger stays on a given element for one second. Okay, this one, if I want the program to longer press the item, if I keep my finger on it for more than one second. Display the shortcut menu on display, double tap and hold delay 500. Lift your finger to activate the menu option under a checkbox unchecked. Okay, uh, if I don't want to use lift to, act lift, to, lift to activate for everything, I have some options here. I can just use lift to activate, to activate options in the menus of CSR, like in the main menu. Lift your finger to activate the software navigation key under a checkbox unchecked. I can just lift, use lift to type to uh, activate the back, home, and recent apps buttons. Clicking action settings. Okay, so let's uncheck the lift to, to type, uh, the lift to activate. I will put my finger on the screen. Dis display the perform the long click action. Use the raw click instead of accessibility click checkbox unchecked. Use the raw click and lift your finger to act unchecked. When I found the item just, I, I took my finger off the screen and it was activated. I have in the main menu the lift to activate, but if I activate it from the main menu, what will happen is that the, this uh, mode will be temporary. So when I turn off CSR and turn it on, um, it will return to the normal mode. And um, yeah, this is useful if I want just to use it for some time, and uh, just to return to the normal mode after I finish. Yeah, and I can also stop using the lift to activate mode after turn it, turning it on from the main menu, also from the main menu. Uh, let's go to the 
last thing that I want to talk about, which is some options in the TTS settings. Operation settings. G show plus. Advanced setting. Op feedback settings. TTS general set. TTS TTS settings. You know from previous episodes that US CSR can use two TTS engines, the primary one and the secondary one. And you can use just a single TTS engine. And here I can select the options related to each of the TTS engines. Navigate up. TTS, TTS engine allows to set the main TTS engine used to read content in case the TTS engine fails. TTS engine. This is for the main TTS. And if I'm. Uh, TTS if engine. I want. Also, I can decide here if I want to use only a single TTS engine. TTS engine allows to set them. Use a single TTS engine checkbox checked. TTS rate acceleration. This function is to TTS rate. TTS rate. TTS volume ratio. The TTS volume. TTS pitch. The pitch. Audio ducking checkbox unchecked controls whether the volume of all other sounds is lowered while the program is speaking. Audio ducking. Use accessibility volume checkbox checked. If I want the accessibility volume channel to be used, if I un if I uncheck this, the media volume will be used. Media volume is useful sometimes, like uh, if I want to use or to record the screen and use internal audio recording. So by using the media volume, by unchecking the accessibility volume and using media volume, I can capture the CSR sounds and, CCR and the speech. Use the proximity sensor checkbox unchecked control. Stop reading when touching the screen checkbox checked. Prevent the screen from locking while speaking checkbox on TTS engine. Okay, so uh, let me talk about the volumes. In, in When I adjust the volume using CSR, if CSR is using the volume keys, when I press the volume keys, the media volume is changed. And if I want to adjust the accessibility volume, I should put my finger on the screen and press on the volume key while my finger is still on the screen. So by this way, I change the accessibility volume. TTS volume ratio. TTS settings. Secondary TTS engine allows to set a secondary TTS engine used for reading notifications and other secondary content. Setting the same engine as the main voice engine is equivalent to using just a single TTS engine. Here I can assign the options related to the secondary TTS engine. Like I, I can uh, let it use the media volume and the main TTS to use the accessibility volume. System TTS settings. Here I can go to the text to speech engine settings of my device. Speak TTS settings. Read emoji checkbox. Read custom symbol definitions. Custom symbol definitions. Se other settings. Other settings. Other settings. Other set. Cue notifications checkbox. Slow down speech while in character. Use ringtone volume for speaking checkbox. Unchecked controls whether the ringtone volume should be used for reading the incoming call screen. This one is interesting. Uh, you know, in TalkBack, some people were having the issue of the shouting when, when they receive calls. So on the on incoming call screen, TalkBack will just speak in a very loud voice. So here I can decide if I want my CSR to use my ringtone volume when I'm in the incoming call screen or not. So it, if I don't use this one, it will stay on the volume that I assigned. Either it's the media volume or the accessibility volume. Mute commentary screen reader while recording is active checkbox unchecked. Use the enhanced accessibility volume control checkbox checked. If the accessibility volume fluctuates frequently, you can try to enable this option. If I'm having issues with accessibility volume, I can uh, enable this one, the enhanced accessibility. Enhanced screen locking prevention mechanism check. Read numbers a single digit checkbox. So this was my demo related to adjust, uh, adjusting sliders with CSR, opening links, lift to activate feature, and some options of the TTS settings.